Welcome to the second part of lessons of mathematics devoted to percentages. Uh, today it is uh, related to uh, converting between percents uh, and decimals. And also today we will consider how to find percent uh, of uh, some quantity or some number. Uh, let me remind you that percent means out of 100, which means 1% equals 1 out of 100. And do you remember which uh, decimal number corresponds such fraction as 1 out of 100? I hope so. And uh, decimal similar to this fraction uh, in, uh, in its value is 0 0.01 so ah, i'm sorry i forgot to put percentage sign here percentages so as we can see one percent equals 0 0.01 in decimal uh, let's apply mm, this knowledge to convert mm, another amount of percents Example, if we will have 5%, it means we will have 0 0.05 as a decimal. And also it equals 5 out of 100, right? Okay, let's move further. For example, 15%. 15% equals 0 0.15. Or 15 out of 100. Now they are connected together, you can see. Then let's convert, for example, 35%. It equals 0 0.35. Or 35 out of 100. Of course, you can simplify this fraction. But mm, you can not. It depends on, on your uh, task and on problem on the consideration. Okay, and let's do uh, the inverse situation involving decimals now. For example, if we have 0 0.45, okay, let's convert it first into percents. It will be 45%, obviously, and 45% out of 100 yeah uh, and let's do the same starting with the fractions let's find the decimal first for example 0 0.75 then let's convert it into the fraction it will be 75 out of 100 now uh, let's convert it into percent it will be 75 percent and also, of course, we can simplify our fraction and it will be equal, be equal to 3 out of 4, or 3 quarters. Okay, nice. And also we can consider, of course, what about 1.00? As you can see, 1.00 equals, equals just 1 or the whole and as we already know it equals 100 out of 100 which means it is 100 percent the whole or 1.00 that's good so we found out how to uh, convert between all three uh, kinds of number percents fractions and decimal of course you can use the same technique to involve mixed number in your converting but we will consider task related to uh, it to mixed number later and also i'd like to show you how to find for example um, some amount of percents of a number or, or a given of a given quantity for example it is uh, it can be um, very helpful while you're solving different tasks on um, percents so let's consider it. For example, you have to find 
say 25 uh, 25% of let's say 40 how to find 25% out of 40 I suggest you to first express 1% what does it mean what does it mean 1% of 40 it equals 40 divided by 100 right okay let's remember it and now when we have an expression for uh, for 1% 40 out of 100 we can multiply it by 25 because we have 25 such percents let's do it we have 40 times 25 and divide by 100 okay good now we can cross out for example 25 here it will be one let's divide both parts by 25 and it will be 4 okay now we have 40 times 1 and divided by 4 40 divided by 4 equals 10 divided by 1 or just 10 nice we found 25% out of 40 it equals 10 is just 1 quarter okay brilliant let's move further Let's find same fifteen percent out of out of for example thirty. Okay, let's apply the same technique. One percent will be equal uh, thirty divided by one hundred. And to find 15%, we should multiply it by 15. Nice. Let's cross out uh, the uh, common factors. Here we have, we can divide both parts by 10, just we'll cross these zeros. And also we can uh, divide both parts by 5. It will be 2 and it will be uh, 3. Now we have, now look, you have, we have 3 times 3 equals 9, and 9 divided by 2. It equals 4.5 uh, in holes, in, in, decimal, in decimal. So 15% out of 30 equals 4.5. That's brilliant. And also, and also we can even uh, try to find amount of percent. Uh, greater than 100 for example we can find uh, let's say 150 percent of for example of let's say 26 150 percent of 26 what does it mean let's do the same let's apply the same technique this is similar if we have 26 then 26 divided by 100 means 1%. And we have to, uh, to take 150 of such percent. So we will multiply it by 150. We can instantly divide both parts by 50. It will be 3 times 50 and it will be 2 times 50. And also after that we can divide both parts by 2. It will be 1 and it will be 13. Now the last thing we have to do to multiply 13 by 3 which will be equal to 39. As you can see uh, amount we got is greater than uh, initial our initial amount because we uh, because we took amount of percents greater than 100 greater than whole and as a result our total amount is greater than our initial amount nice thanks for your work and thanks for your watching uh, continue practicing in applying percents percentages uh, try to find different amounts of percents of uh, different numbers on different 
uh, values and quantities, try to convert them and ask your questions if you need help. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.